Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Chad Cat Maria Vlogs, and I hope you're having a wonderful Easter tide. If you notice that the background is different, it's because I moved out of my dorm yesterday and I am officially on summer break for almost four months. It's a really long time, I don't know why our break is so long, but I'm not going to question it. I'm not complaining. It's a good amount of time. So I'm back again with another video about trusting in God and having confidence in Him all the time. I have a list of verses that I want to share with you today. I also have song recommendations from my playlist, and I wrote notes this time, points that I want to make for this video. So let's get started. I'm first going to read Psalm 61, verses 7 through 9. I'm reading from the Dewey Rain, so the songs are numbered a little differently. So in the newer translations, it will be 62. Okay. Psalm 61, verses 7 through 9. For he is my God and my Savior. He is my helper. I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory. He is the God of my help, and my hope is in God. Trust in him, all ye congregation of people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our helper forever. And now we'll be reading 118, verses 9 through 12. This is one of my favorite psalms, so I'm really happy to share it with you. By what doth a young man correct his way? By observing thy words. With my whole heart have I sought after thee. Let me not stray from thy commandments. Thy words have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord. Teach me thy justifications. And now I'll read Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 10. It's actually where I got the title for this video. Have confidence in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not upon thy own prudence. In all thy ways think on him, and he will direct thy steps. Be not wise in thy own conceit. Fear God and depart from evil. For shall be health to thy navel, and moistening to thy bones. Honor the Lord with thy substance, and give him of the first of all thy fruits. And thy barn shall be filled with abundance, and thy presses shall run over with wine. We should seek God first above all things and know that it's best for us to trust him because we can't go through life and do things all on our own because we need him. He is our creator. He is our redeemer. And he knows what's best for us. As difficult as it is to not know what his plan is, and to have all these questions, we need to know that he is God and he is guiding us. And we should pray and ask him to help us seek his will and to keep going even though it may be difficult. And even though it's hard to be patient we might want to give up, we shouldn't. We should just stay with God because he is good no matter what. Now I'll be reading Job 42, 4. These tabs are very helpful, but because of the way I put them on here, some of them, some of the labels are covered. Oh well, that's just me. Okay. 42.4, and this is what Job is saying to God. I know that thou canst do all things, and no thought is hid from thee. And God knows everything, and he can do all things. He's all-powerful. He's all-knowing. He is God. And I'll be reading Joshua 1.9. Behold, I command thee, take courage and be strong. Fear not and be not dismayed, because the Lord thy God is with thee in all things, whatsoever thou shalt go to. No matter what, remember that God is with you. 
just trust him even though it's difficult just stay with god lean on him and stay rooted in him and when you keep god first everything else will fall into place so just keep him first now i will be reading jeremiah 17:9 The heart is perverse above all things and unsearchable. Who can know it? We can't rely on ourselves because sometimes the heart leads us astray. Like we always hear, you know, trust your heart, follow your heart. But sometimes our heart can lead us astray and we need to, we need to recognize that. So we should always go to God and process everything through prayer. Next, I will be reading St. Luke one thirty seven. Because no word shall be impossible with God. You know, all things are possible for God. And we can learn so much from our Blessed Mother and the trust that she has in God. And I'll be reading 2 Timothy one twelve. I highly recommend reading all the first chapter of the gospel according to St. Luke. Let's see. 2 Timothy 1.12 For which cause I also suffer these things, but I am not ashamed. For which I know whom I have believed, and I am certain that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. I'll read this again. For I know whom I have believed, and I am certain that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him. And God is faithful. He is good. And he really does know what's best for us. It's amazing. It's just such a blessing that we have our Lord. And that we can entrust all things to him. We don't have to go through life on our own. We can rely on him and know that. In all things, he is faithful. No matter what we're going through, it'll all work out in the end because we have our Lord. And these things on earth aren't going to last forever. We should focus on heaven. Heaven is our real home. This week, I had my final exams for the spring semester of my freshman year. And I was really worried about you know, doing well on my exams. And we should, you know, prepare for these things and we should not worry, but we should definitely care and try to do well. But at the same time, we should know that, you know, no one ever died from finals. And in the end, it's all going to be gone. Like these are all temporary things. So we should focus on eternal things. I'm going to read to you some of my advice for trusting in God. So the first thing that I have written down, surrender and leave all in his hands. I also have pray, especially the rosary, for an increase in faith and patience. We really need to pray for patience because when we're going through trials or maybe we're waiting to get married or we're waiting you know, to enter the seminary or you know, other other locations that we may have it's hard to wait and to trust but we need to pray for faith and patience frequent the sacraments go to confession receive the eucharist and meditate on verses about trust and faith and I'll include the list of verses in the description box below. Stay rooted in God and keep him first. Remember, when you keep God first, everything else will fall into place. Root out all vices and bad influences. This is really important 
This is um, about the verses from Psalm 119 that I shared. By what doth a young man correct his way? By following thy commandments, by keeping thy word. By trusting in God. And by rooting out vices and bad influence and sin. We need to root out all of these bad things from our life. And we can only do that with the grace of God. Pray when you start to worry. This is very important. And this goes in with the next one. Remember that even though we are weak, we are strong in Christ. He is in control and he has the best plan for us. God is faithful. Remember this. God is faithful. God is good. God keeps his promises. And he truly has the best plan for us. Now it's also important to take in good and godly things and we need to really work on this you know we should really be listening to a lot of good christian music so i have some song recommendations for you this will also be in the description box below how can i keep from singing by audrey Assad. thy will by hillary scott and the scott family give me faith by elevation worship trust in you by lauren daigle this is a really good one my lighthouse by run collective Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin, Be Still and Know by Hannah Kerr and Mark Hall, I Surrender and Even When It Hurts both by Hillsong United, First by Lauren Daigle, Great Is Thy Faithfulness by One Sonic Society and Mike Weaver, and Your Grace Is Enough by Matt Marr. Oh no, what's falling off? I'll keep this off here. So all of these will be in the description box below. And please go through those verses and pray over them. Now let's say a prayer to close this video. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful day. Thank you for every day. And thank you for your many blessings and graces, for your faithfulness, and for your goodness. And thank you for allowing us to be Catholic and giving us the gift of faith. Today, we ask you to increase our trust, increase our faith, and increase our patience, Lord, so we may always be faithful to you and be rooted in you and keep you first. As difficult as it is sometimes, we want to trust you, but help us to trust you, Lord, because we need your grace to keep going. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I really hope it blesses you. And remember, have confidence in the Lord with all thy heart. Keep God first. I'll be praying for you. Oh, poor table. It's okay. <laughs> I'll be praying for you. And thank you so much. God bless you.